here we've got Marvin uh, lower torso section uh, you can see here it's got a it's gonna have some supports underneath um, shouldn't be too bad uh, let's have a look at the preview here we go the green areas of the supports you see it's got to put some under there hold it up while it prints over it uh, but yeah that shouldn't be shouldn't be too difficult and if that comes out okay with that filament I'll go in and uh, do the upper section right let's go and save this to a thumb drive and see how it prints yeah, Marvin slowly going down on the build plate uh, let's have a look. this part should take one day six hours and 53 minutes according to this uh, we're going to take a while to get that first layer down so I'll come back and check on it in about 30 odd minutes or so okay so two hours into the Marvin print and let's take a look how many layers we're on layer 19 of 862 so hell of a long way to go uh, let's say we're getting the actual walls of the torso section there all this stuff in the middle uh, that is uh, just support uh, it's got to rise up so far and then uh, be able to print the bottom of the torso section on top of it uh, and the two holes there are where the legs are going to end up attaching um, well it's going to be a long long time finishing this off so I'm just going to let it get on with it and check on it in the morning and hopefully everything will be good uh, Sunday morning, uh, we're 19 hours into the print, uh, what we're on here, level 221, still a hell of a long way to go, 862 levels, <laughs> so 36% of the way there, uh, we still speed up a bit once this infill is finished. Uh, so, well, I should say all the support is finished uh, but good news is it's printing good yeah. it's not trying to come loose <laughs> uh, so some football games are I'm going to be watching them keeping a slight eye on it that's some weird infill though a bit compressed in places but anyway I'll leave it to it and let's go and see what's uh, what's printed on the other machines alright so here's Marvin's internals uh, have a quick look here so that's where all the infill uh, keep calling it infill all the supports are in green there coming up so things will speed up once it puts a flat layer on top of them and that doesn't happen until layer 347 um, so let's go into the uh, gym and see how uh, the printer's coming along see where it's got to it's still going but and it's the weirdest looking support some of this stuff is like crumbled underneath I guess it's so thin where it's not putting it down exactly on the previous line it's folding like paper the only good news is that that all gets covered up in a short space of time so it shouldn't cause a problem. I think in the future I'll just try tree support. 
probably would have used a lot less filament and would have been a lot quicker to start with. So where are we now? We're up to layer 294. So it shouldn't be too much longer before we stop uh, putting the complete bottom layer on that. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it to it. It's 47 percent done. Oh, so six hours left to go. 80 percent done. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, Yep, the thing I see is my filament spools about to run out back there. So, I'll be come back in about 15 20 minutes and get another one ready to go on there and replace it. All right, All right. so filament is run out, it is curled around the hot end. so wants me to insert the consumable and click to confirm. So let me get on with that. So once you've threaded the filament through the uh, filament out detector, you can hit con uh, continue. Then it will bring you to this screen where you can unload the filament if you need to, and it will wind it back, or you could just press the lever and pull. Um, once you then thread the new filament back into the tube, you can come up here, hit load, and you'll see the new filament coming out at uh, the bottom there. Once you've got it in place and flowing correctly, and once that's done, you can come up here and hit resume. Bring the Nozzle back up to temperature and then hopefully we'll see this continue. Oh. More filament coming out. Go. And off he goes again. So, simple as that. Uh, so, back down here, another 5 hours, 55 minutes to go. So, Hopefully that means it will finish at some time during the morning. Um, by the time I get out of bed, it should be done. So we'll take a look at it then. Good night all. Monday morning and print is complete. Uh, took a whopping uh, 30 hours and 59 minutes, which is just six minutes difference to the initial estimation. And that might have been to do with the... Uh, Switching out of the filament for all I know. Um, so I gotta hit back here, come out of it. So there's the print on the bed. Like I can say, did it with that lousy quality PLA. It's, oh, now it's all cooled down. Take that off. Uh, Lots of supports. These are threaded, so these are uh, um, just supports for the threads. I'll need to take them off. So, and there's some supports on the fronts and sides and everywhere else. So, I say you don't get the best quality finish with this PLA. It really is ratty when it comes out. Uh, but it was cheap. It was. I bought it when I first bought the Tronixy, and I've had, I've run it through. Um, several different printers and they all come out the same looking awful it just doesn't seem to have a flow consistency to it it's uh and it's a no-name brand who knows who made it came from china um 
and it was sold to me by somebody on eBay and I got a feeling I found out why they were selling it on eBay but it is good for making cheap parts that you're gonna spray sand and uh, and put on display afterwards i wouldn't use it for anything fine uh did most of the dalek on it which is why you could see a lot of layer lines on some parts and that was just the way it was coming out and the tronixy nozzle and no surprise to see the same thing on this but anyway i'm gonna go and uh, clean this bit up and then set this to print the larger upper torso section uh so I'll, I'll put that in the next video. Uh, we'll catch you all later. Oh, I just wanted to show you this. So that this is that support that was underneath. Oh, God. So <laughs> you can see how, uh, how all this comes out. <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting support. It's almost like folded paper, but uh, at least it comes out oh, fairly easily. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if I used both hands. I wasn't holding the camera, but yeah, just wanted to show you that stuff. And just to give you an example of what I mean about this uh, filament, so here's K9's body, one of the first things that I printed on the Tronixy and it was using that same cheap nasty PLA and let me zoom in here and see all these layer lines how they come out exactly how you see it coming out on Marvin's body there now this was also done on the Tronixy using regular PLA and as you can see hell of a lot smoother considering that's a 0.3 millimeter layer height so as you can see nice and smooth horrible and rough same thing with this you can see those horrible layer lines on that on poor marvin's body there using that cheap nasty pla uh, and here's the elegoo pla and once again nice and smooth so really is that that PLA, as I said, it's got a weird texture, weird feel, and every machine I put it on, it just doesn't seem to extrude right. It seems to uh, change consistency and flow, however it feels. But it's got like a almost like chalky texture feel to it. But hey, like I say, it was cheap at the time, and I didn't know any better, so I ended up buying, you know, all these three kilogram spools and you can see I've got some there and to be honest the best use I found for it was as a I took like 12 of them and used 12 of the boxes as stands for my ace pro units for my any cubic cobra 3 max uh, color spoolers but yeah I'm determined to use the damn stuff up because I paid a fortune for it but yeah well Let's go and slice some more Marvin. Oh, uh, this is the next piece of Marvin, the biggest piece of all, uh, his chest area. Uh, the green is organic tree support. And you can see him going up inside to hold the top area as well. Um, doing it at a 0.3 millimeter layer height and it says it's going to take four days and 42 hours so i've sliced it up just going to export it to the thumb drive so let's refresh this body pelvis Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's eject it. It's not wanting to give me the eject button. Oh, there it is. There we go. Currently in use. Cancel. This must be still writing it.
There we go. Uh, I'll take that to the Giga and set it printing. Okay, so I've had to restart Marvin's body. My first attempt got me a blob of death again on a brand new print head um, because the supports came loose and we were dragging around on the end of the print head, um, which then sent a blob of filament back up inside. Uh, but I caught it and took the print head apart, got all the PLA removed. It bent the actual hot end shaft uh, by a good few degrees. I had to use pliers, straighten it out. Um, so I was quite impressed to see that it's actually working again, except now I'm paranoid as hell and I don't want to take my eyes off this thing. Um, uh, but yeah, so I sent, I've expanded the rafts, or the, uh, the bases for the supports. That's why these circles here are so huge. Those are actually <laughs> gonna be the uh, support structures. Um, but I'm determined that these buggers aren't coming off the bed. I also did another, another re-leveling, a, another set of the Z offset. Um, uh, anyway, let's see what this will do. Uh, man, they, I don't know what it is with this head. It's something comes loose. It doesn't shake it off. It's, I think it's those fans underneath. They've, it's got two fans on either side that curl around. And I think once something breaks off, those fans catch on it. And then that causes it to be dragged along with everything else. Whereas every other printer I got, you know, something breaks loose, it ends up being discarded and thrown away. Not this. It seems to get stuck underneath. And when it gets stuck underneath, the filament builds up and then bang. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this run. It's a four-day print. Um, so if I can just get past the first couple of layers and make sure everything's stuck, we should be good. I couldn't resist one more snap at Marvin's torso before I post the video. Uh, so yeah, this is that four day print. Um, this time the layers are going down solid. These are all the supports that are going to be coming up around the body, supports around the inside because it's got to bridge the uh, the shoulder area and where the head screws on. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, printing to go. So, uh, as I'm kind of convinced, it's not going to come peeling off during the night. Um, just going to let it carry on and uh, edit these videos together and upload them so you can all see where we are.